Do you have a problem with your base? It's there, big woofer, big box, but the base, it's still hiding. Let's do something about it. If you want the base you deserve, stay tuned. Your woofer is doing its job. The base is there, it's real, but your baffle, just let it slip away. It didn't vanish, it never made it to you. Low frequencies lose their boost as they wrap around the cabinet's edges. This loss of energy is called diffraction. It happens because base waves spread around the speaker instead of projecting forward, causing a loss of base energy. Let's talk about baffle step circuits and how they affect base in your speaker. Um, many speakers are built without a baffle step circuit. So what is that? What does it do? It corrects the prominent mid-range bump here in a speaker due to the baffle size getting smaller than the woofer is able to produce its frequency range at. So let's say you're trying to reach say 30 hertz from an 18 inch woofer, uh, you'd need a baffle 12 feet wide to attain that. Now, why is that? It's because as the baffle is limited in size, the base frequencies escape around the edges and don't get amplified properly like the mid-range does. So if you've got a baffle of nine inches in width, which we're measuring here, and you don't have a baffle step, you get this top curve here, which is a prominent mid-range bump, probably around, I don't know, six decibels, maybe seven. Uh, that becomes problematic because the bass sounds thin because the mid-range is projected forward is very prominent. Now that we've discussed the downside of having a smaller baffle and what that does to your speaker, obviously we're not gonna have a gigantic speaker in our room, but we can optimize its base. It is a simple circuit, um, but there are some calculations involved. And that's kind of the tricky part. Um, basically, it's just two components. It is just, this is the one we make here. Um, a resistor and an inductor coil. So the coil determines the cutoff frequency of the baffle step circuit. The resistor determines how much of it is applied. So depending upon your baffle size and your woofer type, mostly baffle size, we can custom create a little beauty like this that can go inside the speaker or outside on a plinth all it needs to do is be plugged into the woofer so you can actually have the uh leads from your amplifier or from your horn 2 plus 2 or horn x2 is the new one's called and feed into this little gem here it will output the frequency directly to the woofer 
squashing that nasty mid-range bump. Not squashing the mid-range, just making it less prominent. No screeching involved. We don't want any screeching in our music. And this will make your bass fuller, larger, not deeper, but much more prominent. So it comes in different colors. As you can see, this is a little beauty here, translucent, clear. And this is a carbon fiber black. Actually, it's got carbon fiber in it. So um, let us know. We can custom make it for your speaker. It's easy to install externally or internally. That's the Baffle Step gig, guys. Thank you very much for watching.